kiss for you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. So guys, this will be the part seven of my video series on Sound Recorder Pro app using Android Studio. So now we will start working on our database, uh, SQLite database. So let's get started. So here we will create a new package and it will be like database. And inside this we will create a file and it will be DB helper. So we can say DB helper and we can uh, extend it with the sqlite open helper and here we can uh, implement these two methods on create and on upgrade and now we also need to have the default constructor okay so we will do that later so first of all here we will have some variables so for the variables uh, we can have first of all the private context and then we will have public static final string and first of all we will have a database name and it will be uh, save recordings dot db then we will have uh, the database version so for that we can say private static final int database version and it will be one then we can say public static final uh, string and it will be table name and it will be save recording table all right and then we will have some uh, columns so for that we can say public static final string column name of the recording then we can say it will be name then we can say public static final string column uh, path and it will be path then we can say public static final string column length and it will be length and then we can say public static final string column time edit and it will be time edit all right and then we can have uh, private static final string comma separation and it will be this and finally we can write the query for our uh, SQLite for creating the table so for that we can have uh, private static final string and we can name it as SQLite create table and here we can say create table space then we can say plus table name then we can say plus and here we can write plus id and it will be integer primary key then we have space plus auto increment and plus we can say comma separation separator then plus and here we can say column recording name or I mean column name plus text plus comma separator then we can say column path and it will also be text plus 
comma separated plus then we can say column length and it will be integer plus comma separator plus we final will be the time added and it will be plus integer plus we will close it and here okay so now we have this uh, create table uh, query which we can now execute so now we need to go to our uh, own create method and here we can write db dot execute sql and here we can pass our sqlite create table all right and inside our own upgrade method we can say db dot execute sql and inside this execute uh, sql we can say drop table if exists and here we can just write plus table name all right so here we now we have easily we have converted i mean we have done the uh, we have created the table and here we will have the we need to now have the default constructor and inside this sorry guys this was there was a mistake we can override our constructor our own, on our own so we can say public db helper and inside that we can pass context and so here we can say super and here we will pass our context then we will pass our database name then we will pass null and then we can say database version all right and finally we can say this dot context equal to context all right and here uh, we we have this uh, the default constructor so now what we can do is now let's go to our recording service and here we will write the code for our uh, database to insert the data so for that we can create our db helper method and we can here inside our own create method we can say db helper equal to new db helper and we can pass let's say get application context all right and now in order to create i mean in order to add it uh, add the okay so inside our own stop method here we will write the code to insert to our database so for that we can first of all say recording item okay so now we need to create a model named recording item that will hold the, the data so here we can say recording item and what we can do here is it will implement with serializable and here we will write private string name then we will have path okay then we will we can say we will have private long length and then we will have time added all right so we will have an empty constructor and then we will have we need to generate the the, uh, the constructor and the getter and setter so here click on generate first of all constructor then we add all these four values and then finally we can generate the constructor and i mean the getter and setter so we have these for all these things okay so now our recording item is complete here we can say recording item recording item equal to new recording item 
and for this recording item we will first of all uh, pass our uh, file name then we will pass the file dot get absolute path and then we will pass our elapsed m elapsed uh, millis and then we will pass our system dot current time millis all right and uh, finally we will just uh, add it so for that we can need to write the method to add it add recording so we need to go to our db helper and here we will uh, we will write the method to add the so we can say public boolean add recording and here we will have the recording item okay so now we can add it so for that we can simply say sqlite database db equal to get writable database then we need to use the content values that is used to write so we can say content values equal to new content values then we can say content values dot put and inside this we can say column name then we will pass the recording item dot get name then for the content values dot put and here we can say column path then we can say recording item dot get path then we can say content values dot put here we will write column length then we can say recording dot get length then we can say content values dot put column time added and it will be recording item dot get time added all right so finally we will uh, put that so we can say db dot insert and here we can pass the table name and then we can pass null and content values all right so and here we will return true we will make them inside our try catch block and we will move all these lines inside our try block and if there is any if here inside our exception uh, we can write re return false okay so now we can easily insert it so here we can say db helper dot add recording and we can simply pause recording item here all right so now we can easily record our uh, audio and then we can easily save them into our database all right so i think that is enough for this video i will uh, continue from the next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye